Hey, Robert here, and I've been getting a lot of uh, questions on Facebook about my new Starlink internet system. So, let me answer them here, tell you what I got. So, I bought the system, I had to pay with a credit card to uh, Starlink online. They have a bunch of advertisements on Facebook, so it was like about 20,000 pesos. So I ordered it, and then it came here in about eight days. It was here. They must have them in Manila all ready to go. The carrier was like a special carrier. You know, it's not uh, one I've seen before. Guy must have had a whole truckload of these Starlinks, you know, distributed them around the, the area. And uh, so I got it set up. I put the uh, dish on the roof, the center of the roof, and what I did was I got uh, two uh, uh, two by sixes, five feet long. So I put each two by six over the over the roof like this, and then mounted the star length on both sides. And the two by sixes, uh, hopefully in their position with the weight of them, should uh, handle any wind or anything like that. I'm renting the house, so the owner of the house, I got their permission and they said they just didn't want me to drill any holes in the roof. Also, they didn't want me climbing on the roof, so they provided uh, some uh, skinny little guys to go up there and do the work for me, which is fine, I guess. And then, so just run the cable down and plug in the router. Now, an interesting thing about the Starlink system is that there is only, there's a one plug in on the dish. That's all you gotta do. Plug it in, run the cable down to your living room or wherever you're gonna have the router. You plug that in. There's another cable, it's a power cable. You plug that in and that's all there is. On the router, there's no switches, no buttons, no place to plug anything else in, nothing. So you just, uh, <laughs> it's, it's simple. So that's all, you know, you plug in the dish, you plug the dish to the router, the router to electricity, and you're online. Now, after, uh, after you get that set up, you uh, download the uh, Starlink application on your phone, which I, I downloaded it. And then you go to uh, your settings and pick Starlink as uh, the internet that you want to connect to. You know, it used to be PLDT. And uh, so you just hit Starlink on your uh, internet settings. You go to the Starlink uh, application. You open that up. And I was thinking, you know, when I open up the application, I'm gonna have to fill out all this crap, you know, and go through all these steps. I always hate that all the other applications, they want you to do like all these things to get into them. But when I open the Starlink app, it says connected. What do you want to name your Starlink and what do you want the password to be? So I'm like, okay, I'll name it uh, PLDT, password, you know, whatever. And then it's all like, okay, give us a minute. We're going to adjust the dish <laughs> and you'll be online. So, uh, yeah, and that's how it worked. And, and I noticed the dish right now, it's been spending most of its time facing the north at kind of a 20 degree angle. So it's mostly straight up which is good because uh, I have a lot of really tall trees around the house. You know, I got these tall bamboo trees, I got these tall coconut trees, you know, over 100 feet tall, all around the house. But fortunately, you know, it's, it's pointing up at a very steep angle, you know, tw about 20 degree angle. Um, the dish is about 20 degree angle, pointing toward the north. So. I got online and I'm thinking, you know, everybody's like, oh no, my PLDT is running good, my my globe's good, you know, I don't need Starlink, you know, Starlink, it costs uh, 2500 a month for the service. Globe was costing, I mean, PLDT was costing me uh, 1700 a month for the service, and I hear Globe is charging uh, 2000 a month for the service. Now this, the Globe and the PLDT, they're telling you, you know, well, we had fiber, right? So I should be getting like uh, 100 megabytes per second. But 
And I, and I run tests, you know, I run a, a speed test and it says like 100 megabytes per second to Cebu, right? So great, we got great fiber all the way to Cebu. The problem is that coming out of Cebu or going into Cebu before my 100 megabytes per second, there's a choke point. And that choke point, uh, you know, sometimes it's moving, sometimes it's not, but it's never moving at 100 megabytes per second. And how I know is that, you know, I make videos and I watch mine. And when I watch my videos, I, uh, I click on the little, uh, on YouTube, I'll click on the little gear at the bottom there and it'll bring up, uh, you know, advanced settings. And I can set my video to where I'm looking at the highest resolution, you know, like, uh, <clears throat> normally it's on automatic and it'll give you a resolution that, uh, is good for the speed that your internet is running. So, you know, sometimes, sometimes when I pull up a video, it's running at like 300 megabyte or, or uh, what do you call that, 380p or something like that. <coughs> so, so I'm gonna choose a higher resolution. I'm gonna run it in 1080 or 4K or something like that. But when I switch up to uh, 1080, it, it won't play. Uh, the video won't play, so you know you're not getting a very good signal. You know it's not going very fast, and you know me trying to get 4K out of out of that uh, PLDT fiber. You know it's just no, it never work. So uh, when I noticed that the that the Starlink was doing better, you know I watch my video, I pull it up, and I'm go to advanced settings and. Uh, see what resolution I'm at, you know, and, and already it's at like 1080p, you know, and if, uh, if I switch it over to 4K, bam, it's 4K right away. There's no lag or nothing. So I, I know I'm getting a better signal, a faster signal, not the, uh, not the pretend 100 megabytes per second that I'm showing on my uh, PLDT. This is a real, 100 megabytes or even 180 megabytes per second that I'm getting with uh, with the Starlink and you know and that's the story <laughs> so you know I've, I've had it for about two weeks now and uh, as for outages or whatever I've had a couple times where it, it was off for like a minute you know while it, maybe it was readjusting or something like that but we've been watching movies and playing videos and stuff all at, you know, non-stop speed, you know, it's just racing in here. And uh, I bet that you guys with PLDT and Globe cannot say that. You cannot say that your videos don't stop, that uh, you're not having any problem, that, that there's, oh, I got a message, that uh, everything plays like lightning speed. No, you can't say that. I've never had good internet in the Philippines. Uh, actually, the first five or six years that I was living here, I was limited to uh, five megabytes per second with, uh, <laughs> with uh, pocket Wi-Fi because we couldn't get any provider where we were. Well, I don't know, I guess I talked enough. Uh, like and subscribe, help me out. I'll be making a video maybe tomorrow concerning uh, we're processing our paperwork for the land and uh, we're hung up trying to go to BAR, BIR, Bureau of Internal Revenue to pay our taxes. So I gotta make a video on that. That's only a portion of the, of the title transfer. We got like five other offices to go through and, and I imagine each one of the five offices, they're gonna require something more than what we have. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's just the way things go around here. Alright guys, talk to you later.